What's going on guys and welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be talking about how to set up all of your scenes and sources or layers as they're called in Meld Studio in Meld Studio. Meld is picking up steam. It's becoming probably one of the most popular ways to stream on Twitch, YouTube, Kick, or wherever it is that you're streaming. And that's because the Meld devs are really putting in some good features and they're making it easy for people who don't know much about this stuff to jump in and go live so in this video today this is going to be your ultimate guide on how to set up your scenes and your sources or layers in meld studio but before we do that you guys know how important it is to make your stream look and sound really nice right you want to stand out amongst the sea of millions of other streamers out there trying to make it in this extremely saturated industry so if that's you and you want to make your stream pop you guys got to check out the sponsor for today's video own.tv Owned.tv is your one-stop shop for fresh new graphics for your stream. Whether you're on Twitch, YouTube, or Kick, you'll find something that's a perfect fit for your channel. They offer full-themed overlay packages, which are great if you're trying to give your stream a complete makeover, but let's say you're looking to pick up some new alert graphics, don't worry, because they've got you covered there too. You could find single graphics such as alerts, emotes, banners, panels, and logos as well. And one of the best parts about these overlays is that they are completely modular, so if you and your friends all pick up the same overlay, such as this Rodan one right here, you could change the colors and tweak it to match your brand and none of you will have the exact same overlay. If you're looking to take your stream to the next level, be sure to check out own.tv using my link below to support the channel. And don't forget, use code HAMMER at checkout for an additional 50% off your order. Now, back to the video. Okay guys, so we're here in Meld. Now, the first thing you guys are going to want to do is set up your main scene. And where your scenes are in Meld is down here at the bottom left hand corner. So, I have a scene set up called Main Scene. Now, everything that's in that scene will be seen up here under the Layers section. These are basically sources from OBS. In Meld, they're just called Layers. So, what we want to do is add things to this scene to make it an actual scene, right? I plugged in another webcam so we can add our camera and let's capture our screen. That's going to be our basic scene for anyone trying to go live and show their screen or show whatever game they're playing. We're going to start with that. So for starters, we're going to add our camera. You're going to come up here to layers and you're going to hit the plus sign and you're going to click video device. Now, when you click that, you're going to get this box right here. In this box, there's going to be a drop down. We're going to select that and I'm going to select my webcam right here. I have a bunch of different cameras and video cards connected to my computer. So you may not have this many options, but find your webcam, find your cam link, find your camera, whatever it is, and select it. Now, once we select that, boom, my webcam just turned on. Now we have this giant, you know, webcam here. We can resize it by grabbing the corners and dragging it kind of however we want. We can also come over here to the right side, and this is a really cool feature that Meld has, and we can round the edges of this, okay? So let's click this right here. You see this uh, little, you know, broken square? If we take that and just drag it, you see how it'll round the edges of our webcam? And now the edges of it are completely rounded, but we can do something even cooler. Let's put that back to zero and click the button next to it to individually round a corner, okay? So let's say we want to round this corner to, let's just say... 200 pixels and then we want to round this corner to 200 pixels and there we go now just those corners are rounded so let's say you wanted to have it like be on this side and you wanted the like kind of look like a bullet coming out pretty cool um we can put that one back to zero and round this one to 200 to make a pretty cool design now check that out that's pretty cool. Now, this is something you would have needed to use a mask for um, in OBS, but in Meld, they kind of just added this in. Uh, I really love this feature, and when I saw this, I was like, oh my god, this is great. Um, so, for any either way, for the purposes of this video, what we're going to do is drop these both back down to zero. We don't need to worry really about rounding the edges of our camera. I just want to show you guys how to set up your scenes. Okay, so now we have a camera. I'm going to shrink it down to about this size. And this is pretty important here. You can come up here and click the lock button and lock it. So now we can't accidentally move it no matter what we do. But before we do that, I want you guys to take a look at your camera, have it selected, and then come over here to the right hand side. There's some different effects and things you can put on your camera in meld, which is pretty cool. If you want it to look like a hologram, you can just click that hologram effect and that'll be there. You can have it look thermal. You can have scan lines in it to make it look like very old, you know, old, uh, like vintage uh, pixel cam. You can do ghost. You can do so many different things. Fish eye, if we wanted to look like this. 
Um, yeah, there's there, the, the Mel did it really, really well with the camera stuff, like all the effects and the being able to like round the corners like that. But either way, I just want to show you guys that for the purposes of the video, we're going to put no effects on it. We're going to lock that layer. And now we're halfway there to building our basic main scene, right? We have our camera in our scene. Now what we need to do is be able to see our screen, see what we're doing or see the game that we're playing. You're going to come back up to layers. Click the plus sign and then we're going to come down here and we're going to click display capture. Now, this is something that's a little bit different than OBS. In Meld, there is no game capture. I don't know if they're going to be adding one in the future, but there is not. So you're going to be using display capture. But with this display capture, you can select a specific window or the entire display. So if I had a game open right now, I would be able to select, you know, World of Warcraft or Call of Duty from this list. I don't have a game open right now because we're making this tutorial. So for the purposes of this video, I'm gonna just select my monitor, okay? So now we have my entire monitor. We can just kind of right click it and click fit to canvas. It'll fit perfectly to the canvas and that's it. Now, but we're running into a problem, right? What do you guys see is the issue? I'll give you two seconds, one, two. You can't see our camera anymore and that's because the layers actually work as layers as you can see up here our display or our game whatever it is that we want to see is above our camera in the layers section so we want to take that and drag it under our camera and then lock it and now we have a nice looking scene our camera is on top our desktop is behind it and that is great right it looks amazing and we pretty much got everything we need right now to go live if we wanted to but I'm going to show you guys a couple of more things because Meld has a lot of different things you can add as layers and scenes. Um, so the next thing I want to show you guys is, let's say you have a border, you know, a camera box or something that goes around your camera. So whether your overlay or your camera border or something that you just want on your screen is an image or a video, you're going to select two different options. You're going to come up here to the plus sign. If it's a video or a moving image, you're going to select media source. If it's just a regular image, you're going to hit image. For the purposes of this video, we'll just select image. Now I'm going to select this image of just this little purple heart and that's it. Now it's part of our scene. I can take this image, I can move it around, I can do whatever I want to it. I could also add those effects to it if I wanted to down here in the bottom right. I can have no effects on it. Um, I can, you know, stretch it so that it, it can be fit to the screen. If I wanted to make it full screen, I can make it smaller. You know, I could put it above here and put someone's name there if I love somebody, right, or whatever. Um, that's how you would add an image or like a media source or any kind of video to your scene. It would be either media source or image. Now, a lot of you are probably sitting there wondering, okay, that's great. Now, how do I add my alerts? I want to know when people follow me. I want to know when people subscribe to me, etc, etc. Very simple. So what you're going to do is go on your other screen or whatever, pull up your uh, whatever you use, stream lab, stream elements, whatever, however you use your alerts, log into that and get that URL for your alert box. I've now copied my URL and I'm going to come up here to the plus sign and we're going to make a browser source. You're going to click that. It's going to pop up with this little screen right here. And now over here on the right hand side, you're going to see the URL box. This is where you're going to paste that into. Now I have that pasted into there. I'm going to run a quick test for you guys so you can see that it works. Boom. There's our follower alert. There's our subscription alert. Everything is working perfectly, right? You can move this around. You can resize it. You can make it as big or as small as you want. And then you're going to lock that layer. Every time you get a layer situated where you want it, I suggest locking it because you can accidentally move stuff around and it, you know, it kind of becomes annoying when you do that. Um, other than that, there's plenty of other stuff we could do. We can make a rectangle. We can add text to the screen. You could pretty much do everything that you can do in OBS. It just seems like it's a little bit easier in meld which I personally think is great for people. You know, most people who want to start streaming don't really know all of this stuff and haven't had years to kind of figure out everything, you know, that they're doing. Um, you know, and I, that's why I made my other video on how to set up your stream as far as, you know, the settings and all of this stuff. Um, if you guys want to check that out, if you want to go aside from doing your scenes and, and layers and sources, if you want the settings to go live and how to set up all your outputs so you can multi-stream right here in Meld, I'll link that video down below and you guys can go watch that too. But that's about it. This is very simple. Meld is, is very, very simple. They're doing a great job with making it, you know, beginner friendly for people who just want to get into streaming. So I hope that helped you guys out. I hope I was able to do this in a way where people could understand it. I tried to make it as simple as possible. Basically, if you have no knowledge, you can come in here and create your first scene and go live. I'm going to be going a little bit more in depth in future videos, but if you enjoyed this one and it helped you in any way, hit the like button, share it with someone else who needs it, subscribe to the channel, 
channel and drop me a follow on Twitch, twitch.tv slash hammerdance. But either way, guys, thank you all so much for watching and listening in. I want you to keep those hammers up and I'll see you next time.